Hello all of YouTube. So I'm here now. Uh, this is in post commentary because there were so many problems while recording this. The media didn't work the first time, then the audio didn't work the second time. So now we have the video with no audio, so I'm going to post commentate this. I'm just clicking buttons here right now. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably just gonna cut this. Okay, did not. Uh, I, that's when I found out that if you click that, an airplane comes out. So I was like, oh, look at this. So when I made this video, I was trying to match the audio we had from the first one, and that didn't work at all. So this is this is what that was. I was gonna edit, but this was just much easier, and this would come out much better. So here I'm showing you that you need more cash and mana shield. The mana shield is not needed, but it is nice to have, and Quincy will be the hero used. Um, Quincy is just, I feel, the most versatile hero, and as you upgrade uh, Quincy, he'll get more Moab popping power, which is good for this, and he's just really good. And you can start with him with the 200 free um, gold from the monkey knowledge upgrade, which is why it's important to the strategy. And it's probably one of the best upgrades. It's probably the best end end game upgrade. So now here we're just gonna go go through all of this. You just fast forward. The biggest part of this strategy is money. I have played half cash, and that was terrible. <laughs> I had no money, and it was it felt like I was trapped. So do you know what I want to do here? I had one of two options to kill the Moabs. I could either one slow them down to give myself time to pop them with mediocre towers or gain as much money as possible and just shrek them with everything I can. Just make them regret being being uh, inflated. So that's the one I chose. Uh, so this is all about saving up right at the beginning and getting as many 200 banana farms as you can. Because when you do the math, when you get the full amount that you get, you end up getting like $2,000 a round. But... Uh, so mainly here, we're just waiting. Here's the first one. I surround the trees with them because I can fit, uh, when I use the banana farms, I buy these guys. They're, they're nice and easy to get. They're like 50 monkey dollars. Yeah, my thing lagged there for a second. It scares the crap whenever it does that. But I put it right here so I can surround it by like three or four of them. And, uh, then the first thing you do is, again, I'm just gonna go through here. Wonder if I'm gonna speed this up or not. Yeah, I guess not. I guess I'm watching here because I tried to maybe slow this down to to keep up or just keep try to keep myself with the pace of the original video. But again, that didn't work. So here we go. I'm fast forwarding, and here I go. Boom! Increase productions, and then I get greater productions, and that's the only upgrades I will ever get on banana farms when I get them uh, like in mass like this. I get a huge amount of them. I take off auto start um, because in the middle of the rounds is when you want to place your towers, especially because with all the money you'll have, you'll have a lot of money to place a lot of towers in between rounds. So boom, that's a two zero zero, and that's the highest I'll get them. That's like that's the max for me. I don't like putting them above that, honestly. Cut. Oh, never mind. All right, I'll probably cut the me saying cut because I thought I, w I was going to be there for much longer. But I'll probably just cut parts of this that are bad, like when I, I end up pausing the, the video for like, I pause the game for like a good couple minutes to apologize to you guys, uh, but that didn't work. Yeah, again, it's okay here to leak lives. I have the magic shield, which is very helpful. The only thing that's bad about it is you end up losing some money with it, but that is entirely fine. Um... Even if you didn't have the magic shield, losing some lives is okay, because in the end, we do not lose enough lives that would kill you. We, we probably don't even lose enough to lose the magic shield if it didn't regenerate. So again, Quincy and this one triple dart monkey that you upgrade will um, allow you to get really far on the rounds. Almost all the way to round 30, but I will be adding a wizard monkey to get the uh, leads that come by later. And again, we get up the second one here, round 19. And again, you just upgrade this right to a 200. Very quick, very easy. You should be able to get up three or four of them by round 30, which is the goal. After round 30, you will not buy, or 
I'm saying this like I'm ordering you. It's the strategy. I do not add any more from round 30 to 40 because I save all the money to get a super monkey. And I upgrade him to a 2-2-0 super monkey because it's ridiculous and it can fully take out... I don't know why I did that. It can fully take out the first Moab with just the super monkey, a wizard, Quincy, and that dart monkey. And that's all that you need for the first guy. Now here I will add it because very soon we are going to see the leads. So I added it here in preparation for that. I knew it was still a couple rounds away, so I guess I thought about getting the fireball, but thought better because I would hopefully get a village sooner. But I can also get a druid. I get a, You can get a druid in that corner that I showed you to catch any balloons that go out the back. Like, I'm pretty sure these might pass me. Yeah, that balloon one passed me, so I show you. Yeah, I put it right there. And it, it, what's funny is, in the end, I mess up the placement of it so much that it ends up going by anyway. Um, but yeah, Quincy has the camo, which is nice. Uh, another one of these going up, and again, all of this is within the range of that banana farmer, which is nice. You just clump it right up next to him. I just like this around the trees because I don't like to be it to be in the way of the track for when I place more things. Uh, and here we go. So th this is probably one of the harder rounds here because the wizard, once you get it, will make it easier for Quincy to pop balloons because it weakens them by one layer or two. But you can't do that with that. Now I got this one to a 200, which is, you know, the max I'll upgrade it. So if I say, like, the max, I'm not getting a fifth tier banana farm, I'm getting a 200. Um, now here we go. This is very easy rounds. Yeah, all the rounds are incredibly easy. It's honestly somewhat sad to a point. Um, because the only thing that makes this really difficult is getting up the popping power for that double HP. I remember my first time playing this. It it was difficult. It was I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it seem easy because you know what? It, it legitimately isn't. Oh, it looks like I decide to get the balloon anyway. Or not the balloon, the druid. I decided to get the druid anyway for, for whatever I need at the end. And now in the first video I did this in uh, actually, that one lead ended up going by, so sometimes you might get unlucky with the timing of it, that's just a luck thing at that point, but it's very easy to fix by putting a single glue gunner. Um, you don't have to put the banana farms here, this is where I like to put them, honestly, as long as you have the banana farmers getting them, or you get all the bananas, just try not to waste any bananas. This is how I like to do them, I spread them out. I only use two banana farmers, I don't like to waste them. So here, round 29, we have four banana farms up. So here I slow it down because, as I said in the last video, slowing it in fast forward mode, your towers are technically weaker than in the normal speed mode. So here, this is how this goes, and ooh, yep, we leak one lead there. So an easy fix to this is just a glue gunner. I exit it, I go back in, and a very easy fix is just a very cheap glue gunner right at the front, and you can either keep it on first or you can set it to strong. I would probably set it on strong, honestly. Um, let's see if I do that here, though. So yeah, I'm like, hey, look at this. Something's happening. Up. Uh, am I going to cut this? No. I decided to... It's post- I don't know, I've never done post-commentary before. MJ just gave me a face. Just talk about what, what's in the video. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, like, the timing is off, like, for things. So, like, I'll, I'll try to talk about something, but then I'll do something and be like, Oh, cut myself off to talk about, oh, these leads. I guess I tried to do this again to just see if it was maybe a timing error, and I kept the entire thing on slow just to see if it would work. And we'll see if it works. Okay. Just talk about what you're seeing. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm doing. Good. This man could probably do rocket science better. You wanna go? Alright, so, yeah, this time it ended up working. Uh, to be safe, you could just put a glue gunner uh, right above the wizard monkey, uh, uh, right up and left from it in a spot so that I end up getting the glue gunner, I know that. So, uh, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Stuff. Okay, so, pretty much the big thing is, the druid is there for cleanup. Uh, usually I'll get it a zero, zero, 001. Okay, now, very specific here. If you put it right on that line, uh, right, you see the small distance between it and the, and the wizard, that's probably the best place. It allows it to get very far up on the track when, it come, when the balloons come in, and it allows 
it to hit the vertical track when if balloons come around. So that's very helpful. It can re-glue balloons that become unglued after a certain amount of time. Now, from here on out, the big thing is just to save up for that super monkey right there. That was very nice, very coincidental. Um, and I have no idea why I'm doing this, probably because the first audio had me waiting, but here we go. So now the video, I'm just gonna, it looks like I just speed this up. Nope, I got scared. I'm a coward. And so pretty much, I'm, at this point, it's safer to not fast forward it. But I feel like at this point you might be able to for a bit, but definitely when you get the super monkey, you could probably fast forward this. Um, now Quincy, I'm pretty sure the only camo I have up right now, the only camo detection is Quincy, which is probably a bad idea. You you could, I, get, I end up getting the super monkey first, but you could upgrade the camo detection on the wizard first or on the triple dart monkey, and it'll fix any problems you have with camo, in all honesty. Oh look, so here, we're gonna see more camo, and... Quincy can take care of this entire round alone, which is very nice. Quincy is, again, like, just, I, I really like, I really like Quincy. He's just so good. And before the new Captain uh, Tank hero was added, uh, Quincy was the only one who could see camo. No other hero can see camo just on his own until the, the, uh, the big guy was added. So I slow it down to let Quincy have time to pop them all. And what do I do here? Do I get the intense magic or do I save for the other one? Maybe I'm just looking at him and thinking about it, but again, at this point, you could just fast forward through this, just, especially when you get laser blast. Once you get laser blast, you will definitely be able to fast forward through this. The big thing is to make sure you get a 220 super monkey right before uh, round 40. Round 39, you can get it at, it doesn't matter, just round 40. You gotta make sure for that first MOAB you have the 220 because that will be able to take it out. Ooh, laser blasts. Nice. Okay, and then after round 40, well, you'll see I use a stalling option. There are a lot of ways to stall balloons in this game. However, there's a, um, a few ways to stall MOABs, but those ways are incredibly good. However, the best way, in my opinion, is the heli pilot with its new ability to literally bounce moabs off of itself it literally stops them right in their tracks it's ridiculous it's just ridiculous so here i'm saving up for the plasma blast because plasma is so here i messed up and a balloon went by but that doesn't matter so plasma blasts are just about the best super monkey upgrade no matter what you do okay so what happens here is I got the plasma and now I get the upgrades. So the super monkey in the middle here, when you buy the super range and the epic range upgrades, pretty much covers the entire stage. Pretty much covers the entire map, especially on this map, it is ridiculously good. And I will end up getting a robo monkey, but now back to plasma blasts. Plasma Blasts are incredibly powerful. No, no matter what form of Super Monkey you get, you should generally get Plasma Blasts with it. If you get Robo Monkey, Plasma Blast. If you get the Dark Knight, Plasma Blast. But look, so here, the Moab will go around, and you notice I do not use Quincy's ability. I use it after it circles again, because I want Quincy to clean up the ceramics. And I just need him to pop them quick, so then the popping power of the Plasma Blast can just kill the rest of them. Um, so now here, after round 40 has passed, you're pretty good. You could just, you could just sit. But I like to add more money. I add lots more money, more farms, and I end up getting an extra three or four of them here because it's just so good and you get money so quick after round 40, it's ridiculously easy to just earn all these things. And you again, get the 200, because I'm pretty sure anything after that is just... It, it, I don't think it's, it's as... It, uh, speaking, I don't think it is as much bang for its buck. So here, I messed up, and I did not have, one, the Shimmer ability, and two, I didn't use Quincy's ability. So I decided to not lose all those lives and all that money, and I just decided to redo the round, because that would have bothered me a little too much. So here, in... Here, you actually don't have to buy Shimmer. You, you could just use Quincy's ability. But Shimmer, Shimmer will be needed soon. 
Maybe not at this moment though, but it will definitely be needed because there will be a lot of cabo things later you will need it for. Okay, here we go, doing the exact same round. I did not buy any upgrades. You'll see Quince's ability. I wait for the, wait for the balloons to come around so he can take out as many as possible with his extra speed. If you do it as soon as the first balloons get to him, you'll have wasted time, wait for the balloons to pass him and circle around so he can pop a lot of them in a short amount of time. And I'm pretty sure this is the final, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the max that I get. If you really want to be greedy, you could probably go for more, but just make sure you have the popping power and the stalling power to just make sure those mobs don't pass you by. So now the big thing here is when you do the math, each of these gives you 16 bunches of bananas around and each round each banana gives you 20 i did get shimmer now which means camo will not be a problem and each i did get your reach as well to make sure if any go by he could get it so now each banana gives you 20. so when you do the math 20 times 16 is 320. now if i'm just gonna round down to 300 to give a low estimate so it's actually better than what i say it is and to make the math easier we have seven seven times 300 2100 dollars $2, a round just for having these up and it helps you get everything you want and it's very nice to have and it's actually more than that probably a couple hundred more maybe but yeah you get a bunch of money every round just for having these and it helps you get everything so i got the heli pilot and i will upgrade the moab shub so now moab moab shub moab shub moab shove and it allows the moabs to just you know be stopped it also works on bfbs which is ridiculously strong. A BFB will literally get stopped right in its tracks if it tries to hit that. Now, I get it. I will upgrade it to quad darts, but I will not get pursuit because you just want it to be right there. You don't want it to move, really. You can get pursuit, but I feel like it weakens it. Now, what I like to do is from here on out, I just like to be overpowered. So here, you see how it covers that entire circle, bottom left circle. So I will not be getting upgraded range. I will be getting plasma blasts with the Dark Knight for extra Moab popping power because the Dark Knight is all about popping Moabs because the rangs he shoots uh, do extra damage to Moabs. Now, Knockback is one of the strongest abilities I've seen. It's ridiculous. I feel like Knockback... So, you see right there? It's like the distraction for ninjas on crack because the ninjas have the distraction ability, but I feel like that works randomly and it doesn't work as often. This will work for every or every other time he hits a balloon. Like, you see, you could see them going back right now. You can see just how ridiculous it is. And what's also good about the Dark Knight is he is the only super monkey that on his own can see camos. Which is just amazing to me because in all the other games, like, you always had to get a village. You always had to get, like, you always had to get something to help the super monkey see camo. In this one, the Dark Knight can just see him, which is amazing to me. And then, boom, we're going to get up this Dark Knight. Boom. Now, ooh, I'm looking at this. Oh, yeah, I'm showing you. This is the ability. It, the most current upgrade gives you 16. Oh, no. I th I did the math wrong. <gasps> oh, I, did, I pushed the I, which shows you the next upgrade. These give you 8. These give you 8. So you it's actually 8 times 20, which is 160. 160 times 7, you get about $1,000 a round which is not as big as the 2100 I said earlier, but that is very wrong and I'm very sorry. It, it gives you $1,000 a round, which still helps you a lot, especially in the early rounds. But here, I'm gonna do the, since that one covers an entire circle, just like the bottom left one, we're gonna do the exact same thing. At this point, you could fast forward to the end result because all of this is just my personal likes and dislikes. I want that ZOMG to come in here and regret being inflated. Thank you, MJ, for the laugh. I, I want that ZOMG to come in here, regret that it was ever inflated, and just be like, uh oh. So I like to get the most powerful things, all the super monkeys, and I end up getting a bunch of things. So you see that glue gunner? To add insult to injury, I slowed down the ZOMG, I slowed down everything that comes out of it, and I, uh, I will upgrade it to uh, Moab glue. And I will also get a bunch of other upgrades that you'll see. So if you want to see just how ridiculous this becomes, keep watching and I'll keep talking about it and like the stats and stuff. But yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay, and 
Another big thing that I want to talk about is all the comments and stuff we got in the last videos. It is amazing. I, have, I, it's it's like so amazing to me that we have so many people are watching this and I'm helping so many people. Look at this. The BF. I'm sorry to cut off the the heartwarming moment. Look at it's not moving. It's not moving. The heli pilot is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna get alchemists to buff the super monkeys. You'll see the upgrades I give them. I give them uh, four zero two to constantly give them extra range and popping power and things like that. Now back to the heartfelt warming moment and stuff. Uh, thank you. I'm I'm so glad that I can help so many people beat these modes. And half cash was ridiculous. And they were, I realized while I was playing it that there was nothing online to help people. So I wanted to help people and. I'm so glad that we're getting so many people to watch. That video currently has over 100 views already, and that's just so great. If you guys would watch our other videos and see if you like it, we have a lot of games that we play on here. Lots of things you guys might be interested in, and, uh, yeah, just look, uh, look at our other videos if you would like, and, uh, you know, it's very nice. I'm not gonna ask you guys to comment and subscribe. If you like what you see and you want to, that's that's very fine up to you. I'm not gonna be like, oh, comment, subscribe, because, you know, I hate it when people do that. Really do. In every video. There are some people in every video they started out at the beginning just like, oh, comment, subscribe. No! I'm like, not gonna ask you to comment and subscribe. Subtly wants you to comment and subscribe. I mean, no, of course <laughs> I want them to comment. And of course I want them to comment and subscribe, but, you know, I'm not gonna press them for it. It's like, you're like that, you're like that ridiculous uncle that's just like, hey, Tim, little Timmy, you got any drug money I could borrow? What? I feel like that's what it's like, just like that. You, you got that one cousin always asking you for money. I feel like that's what YouTubers are like when they're always like, I want to subscribe, push the bell, and I'm going to tell my mother that I'm in the middle of recording right now because the audio messed up in the last one. Yeah, and she, I, she's been here. She's heard all the messing up and all the pain I've been through. All no, the but cursing, all the yelling. All the yelling. Just kidding. No, no I, they wasn't yeah, that ridiculous. Sure not. <laughs> so, uh, it would be nice if she could do this in the ten minute later. Ten minutes later. Oh, she just came for a bag. That's fine. So, um, now here, pretty much at the end, I add alchemist to all of the super monkeys. Which gives them ridiculous range. That's what I've, I've made the realization. That I didn't realize the range buff was that big. It was ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, so I'm not going to beg you to comment and subscribe. If you want to do that, if you like what you see, just do it. I really want them to do it. <laughs> oh no, so now back to this. Um, <laughs> done, with, done with the jokes, back to stats. So now the Robo Monkey, I really like the Robo Monkey upgrade. However, the Dark Knight has become my favorite upgrade. I feel like, you know, the Temple of the God is extremely good for ex extremely, extremely late rounds. If you want to go into free play and you want to get to the highest rounds possible, you're definitely going to go to the Temple of the Gods and the True Sun God. But it's a little too expensive to, you know, get in a normal game. It's uh, kind of sad. But Robo Monkey and Dark Knight are nothing to laugh at. Robo Monkey is pretty much buying a second Super Monkey for $9,700 with all the upgrades your current monkey has. And what I really like is it doesn't take up any more space, and on top of that, the two arms attack different things. One of them will always attack strong, and the other one will attack like the first. And it allows you to split up your, your damage, where if you just had two Super Monkeys, uh, you would get the same effect, but this is just... $10,000, you get the same thing, no space taken up, it's nice. The Dark Knight, though, is definitely my favorite of the Super Monkeys um, in general play because it's. I just find it ridiculous, the fact that it can see camo, the fact that it knocks back every balloon it touches, and on top of that, the fact that with the plasma upgrade, it shreds, shreds everything that comes to it. And the extra Moab popping power is nice. That's just what I... Like, look at this. Double HP Moabs. Drrr, destroyed. Okay. I will make mention at the end. I show you the uh, monkey knowledge I have on. I will tell you that one of them is unneeded. And I will tell you when we get to it. I do have it, which makes this a lot easier. But you do not need that for this strategy at all. You do not need it at all. The first, like, three times I completed this mode, I did not have that ability. It's the end of the military skill tree where uh, these balloons come in partially damaged already. And in double HP, it probably makes it similar to single HP, which makes it a lot easier. But you do not need that for this strategy. I want to 
push that because you do not need the military monkey skill tree at all for this. Literally. You only really need the primary monkey skill tree for the free monkey and the extra 200. You really don't even need the magic skill tree. That's all, all you need. Um, but here, I have the alchemists up buffing their range up and my phone tried to take crap on me. Hello? Are you gonna push continue, Brayden? Oh, thank you. Okay, so, back to this. Um, I have all these upgrades on. The druid pretty much becomes useless at this point because nothing ever gets to it. Um, but you can just see all the damage. I have $20,000. I don't need to buy anything. But that doesn't mean I don't want to. Again, that CMG will walk in and be like, Uh-oh, I'm in the wrong neighborhood. And get murdered. Murdered. I'm going to deflate that balloon to the best of my abilities. And boom, we get that Comanche Defender and Quad Darts. I don't get Pursuit. You can if you want. I just feel like it weakens the Moab Shove ability. And I get the, uh fourth tier upgrade to the wizard. Also, the wizard just got a change that's amazing to me. It's 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 a great change. The fifth tier skill on the bottom tier used to be you could soul bind things to you. So if you almost if you lost all your health, you could sell these towers to gain health back. However, that wasn't that good, so they changed it. Now, you see how we have balloons fighting for us. The fifth tier upgrade allows you to get stronger balloons so you have moabs dead zombie moabs, dead zombie BFBs fighting for you. Uh, I do not believe it can summon dead zombie ZOMGs to fight for you though, which is sad. Now we get this sniper monkey for the biggest insult to injury on, <laughs> the biggest insult to injury on the ZOMG that's gonna come in in two rounds. I will get it up to main moab and I will get fast firing just to stall it forever. <laughs> I will not let it pass me, not once. It will not, it will not get past even halfway to the track. Now, I also upgraded the glue gunner. Again, all this is for fun. You could just do whatever you wish at this point. Once you get the first super monkey up and get it 220, after that, just make sure you have the popping power and uh, make sure you have the heli pilot. That's a big thing. Make sure you have the heli pilot because that's where, that's what really allows you to pop the double HP things because they won't get past it really. Um, but yeah, just make sure you have the heli pilot after round 40 and you have the super monkey before round 40 and after that, this is all for fun, this is all just to destroy and that ZOMG because I was pissed at this point doing this for like the fourth time in a row. Yeah, but I wanted to murder it a lot. Murder. So here I get the main Moab. Main Moab is also a very good way to uh, stop the guys from coming in, but it's very, very expensive, even more expensive than the heli pilot. The heli pilot is much cheaper than this. Like this, it costs 8,000, more than 8,000, it costs like nine to 10,000 to get it to main Moab. Heli pilot, you have to spend the 1,300 to get the heli pilot, and the only thing after that to, uh, the only thing after that is, um, it's 1300 to get that, 5400 for the Moab Shove ability, and then it's like an extra maybe 1000 at most for... So it's like 7000 Much cheaper, much easier to get. So I, I always go with the Heli Pilots. And it's just much better because as long as it's touching them, they won't go by. Whereas this guy has to shoot it, and it's only for a little bit. It's just... I don't think it's as good at all. Uh, the glue, though... I honestly feel like the glue ability is better than the main Moab. This is just like my, what my thoughts on it. I think in in terms of stalling, it goes heli pilot, then glue gunner, then the main Moab ability, because heli pilot just stops them right in their tracks, uh, just by standing there, uh, and the glue and it's also cheaper than main Moab, and the glue gunner is. The glue gunner is much cheaper. Look at that. It's only about 3,000. It's only, what is it? It's probably about 4,000 to get it to Moab glue. And that slows it down a lot. And you just put it on strong. I have it on first because it doesn't really matter at this point. But, and, but it's so, it's like the cheapest way to do this. And it is ridiculously good at slowing them down. However, the main Moab does have the ability to just continually stop. Like, look at this ZOMG. It's just ridiculous. I get this, this guy just for this. Just for this, it's not going anywhere. And with the extra slowdown ability of the glue gunner on it, it's it's ridiculous. Look at this. It's not going anywhere. 
It's yeah, I, I, I'm stalling it with all these abilities I have from these guys, and it literally stops it. The big balloon stops it right in his tracks. Close the door. Stops it right in his tracks. Sorry, people are coming in, so if you hear a vacuum, I apologize. I've been trying to speak above it, but it this is ridiculous. It's not going anywhere. This is just this is the fun part to me. Just all the power. Pure, <laughs> pure destruction. Pretty much. This is destruction. This is uh. I, so many memes could be placed here. Oh my god, this is great. This is just, looking at this, they're not going anywhere. They're not even going to reach the heli pilot. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. And I win. And that's it. That's all this is. So pretty much the main points of this are get three or four monkey villages before round 30. Then at round 30, save up for the 220 super monkey. Then after round 40, get the heli pilot and up to seven, six or seven, uh, two, zero, zero monkey farms. And then the rest after that is just making sure you have the popping power to do this. You could use this exact strategy. It's very easy to do, uses very little, little amount of towers, very simple to re recreate and redo over and over again, as I've done today four times, as I've mentioned, because of the constant problems with the videos. Technical difficulties. Technical, lots of technical difficulties. Yeah. But yeah, so here I showed you all this stuff I had at the end, and then here I show you the monkey knowledge. So the magic, I had it all the way to the magic shield. And then the primary, you have to have. This is the only one I would say you have to have to make it this easy. But yeah, it's very good. Having the free monkey at 200 is good. And I also do show the military. I do, in the military, have the last ability that starts them off damage. However, that is very much not needed. That big balloon sabotage is not required for this at all. You could have no points in the military skill tree or even the magic skill tree and still be able to do what I've showed you just fine because we don't use these upgrades as much. Yeah, so all of this, those are just the things I had that made it slightly easier for me. You do not need those. The only one that I would say you really need to make it as easy as I've showed you is the first primary monkey skill tree. And the magic one's nice as well, but the military one is not needed. If you do not have the military one, do not worry. You can do it just fine. And that's, that's the end of this video. I'll see you all next time. Comment down below what you want me to do next. I did this because I did this because I was asked to do it. And, uh, oh, I forgot to talk. I'll put up a little bubble right here. Uh, someone told me a way to fix the last strategy I did. And I'll put it up right above here. I'll see you all in the next episode.